In 1970, the Palace of Westminster in London stood as an iconic symbol of democracy and political power. Situated on the banks of the River Thames, this magnificent structure housed the heart of the British government and served as the meeting place for the Parliament of the United Kingdom. The Palace of Westminster, also known as the Houses of Parliament, has a rich history dating back centuries. Its origins can be traced to the medieval era when a royal residence was built on the site. Over time, it evolved into the primary location for political affairs, with various expansions and renovations enhancing its grandeur and functionality. The architecture of the Palace of Westminster is a captivating blend of Gothic Revival style and intricate detailing. Its most prominent feature is the Clock Tower, often referred to as Big Ben, although the name technically applies to the bell within the tower. The clock's resonant chimes echoed across the city, marking the passing of time for Londoners and becoming an iconic symbol of the city itself. Inside the palace, the main debating chambers, the House of Commons and the House of Lords, were where important decisions and discussions took place. The House of Commons, with its green benches and passionate exchanges, was the arena for elected representatives, while the House of Lords, adorned with red upholstery and gold accents, housed the appointed peers and bishops. The Palace of Westminster's location on the banks of the River Thames added to its majestic appeal. The river provided a picturesque backdrop for the iconic structure and allowed for convenient transportation of goods and people. The scenic views of the river and the surrounding London skyline further enhanced the splendor of the parliamentary setting. In 1970, the Palace of Westminster remained a symbol of British democracy and political tradition. It witnessed intense debates, historic legislation, and the exchange of ideas that shaped the nation. The iconic status of the building and its prominent presence on the Thames continued to inspire awe and reverence among both citizens and visitors.